Hey guys, I'm Tina and welcome to Well and Tasty. If you are new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button because I share whole tasty recipes perfect for the everyday home cook. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm excited to see you. So I recently did a poll on Instagram asking you what video you wanted to see next and many of you voted for this video right here which is Poulet Deje. So Poulet Deje is a Cameroonian dish, it's a marriage between um, chicken and plantains or at least that's how I like to think about it. So if you like chicken and if you like plantains, you are definitely going to like this recipe as well. I have made quite a few changes to the traditional recipe. So typically, you use a whole chicken that's then cut up into several parts and you fry the chicken, you fry the plantains and then you marry it together in a tomato stew. Now I have made several changes to this just to make it healthy for myself the way I eat at home but I'm definitely not losing any of the flavor and bang out of this meal. So the other really big thing that you will notice, especially for my Cameroonians out there, is that I do not use Maggi or the bouillon cubes anywhere in my cooking. I stopped using Maggi several years ago and if you want to see or want to hear my thoughts on Maggi and why I don't use it, let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video for you guys on that topic. But there is no Maggi or bouillon cubes to be found in this recipe. I find different ways to flavor my food and so I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. So come with me, let me take you on a ride to Cameroon and share this incredible dish of poulet déjà. Let's begin with our spice blend. So mix some red pepper flakes, onion powder, cumin, curry powder, smoked paprika, and herb de Provence. Mix well to combine. Then season some chicken wings with about three quarters of the seasoning blend. Now this is the first difference from a traditional poulet déjà. Usually you make a poulet déjà with whole chicken that is then cut up into several parts. I started using chicken wings a while back and I just stuck with it. So I seasoned with salt, pepper and a drizzle of avocado oil and then you're just going to toss this all together so the chicken is well um, covered in the spices. Once your chicken is all coated, then you could just let this sit for about an hour or you could move on to the next step, which is just placing the chicken wings on a rack over a baking tray and baking at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next up are the plantains. So for the plantains, you just want to cut the ends and then slit the plantains and peel back to remove the skin. Then cut the plantains into disc. You can use a chopping board for this, but for me, it's just easier to hold the plantains and cut through like you see me doing here. Then fry the plantains. If you wanted to make this whole 30, you could bake your plantains and maybe I'll show you this in another video. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and fry our plantains till they are golden and then remove and set aside. By this time, the chicken should be ready and looking really good. So next up, we're gonna prep our veggies for the stew. There's gonna be a lot of chopping. So first you wanna chop your tomatoes and then you're gonna go in and dice up um, your onions. and then chop some carrots. I like to chop my carrots into matchsticks and so that's what I'm doing right here. Then also chop your bell peppers. I'm using a green, red and yellow bell pepper which coincidentally is the color or are the colors for the Cameroonian flag. But with all your vegetables chopped, it's now time to move on to the stew. So heat up your oil in a skillet and then add your onions. You're going to cook your onions so they're nice and soft and translucent. And then add your chopped tomatoes. You could also use canned tomatoes if you liked. 
um, and then you're just gonna add the reserved quarter seasoning blend from before and I also like to add a green seasoning now the green seasoning is totally optional but this is just something that you will find in most African fridges it's a blend of onions garlic ginger and parsley and I also throw in a scotch bonnet um, pepper for a little bit of heat The goal here is to cook the tomatoes down until they turn more of an orangey brown color. Um, they lose their tartness and they start being sweet and release their own natural oils. You may need to add a little bit of water periodically as you do this to prevent the tomatoes from drying up and burning. Once your tomatoes are well cooked, you're just gonna go in and add your chicken to the pot. And then I also like to add in the carrots. I add the carrots first because they're a little bit harder and so I just want them to soften up and cook a little bit more. Then stir everything well together. If your pot is drying up, then by all means, please add some chicken stock or a little bit of water, just a little bit of liquid to allow that um, tomato stew not to dry up and start burning. Then add in your plantains and the rest of your vegetables. Toss everything well so that the plantains and the newly added vegetables are all covered in that tomato sauce. My pot was overflowing so I'm just taking my time with this, just tossing everything together. If you need to, you can hold the pot and just shake it up um, so that you're not breaking up the chicken as you toss. And that's essentially it. This is a beautiful dish made from the simplest ingredients and I'm yet to find someone that doesn't like this. So if you try it, please let me know on Instagram. I would love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.